upper back roller pin and stretch. This is really great, using a roller here, we're not going to be too aggressive, you can do this in a seated position as well using the back of a chair, but what we're going to do is find certain points on the upper back and stretch them out. But, must point out, this is a very soft roller, it's got quite a lot of give to it, don't like putting a lot of pressure on the spine and the spine processes there, definitely don't want to be doing that. So this works really well in that they kind of melt into the foam itself and allow you to get that stretch and allow you to get that mobilization of the T-spine, which is the upper spine part where we all end up being a bit tight, particularly after a day of sitting down. And this is what makes this stretch so good. I've got a couple of versions of this. This is the pin and stretch one where I take certain positions and this is where you feel that you might feel you're certainly tight in one area in particular and you wanna focus a bit more on that area. So uh, your positions might be slightly different to mine, but we don't, we wanna keep certainly above the rib cage. We don't roll down any further into that lower back. There's no point rolling down there whatsoever. That's not a great idea at all. So we're focusing on this upper back here. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to adopt this position. This happens to be the longer foam roller. You could potentially use the shorter foam roller. Um, but what I'm going to do is just pin a point first off. I tend to work from the top down. So I'll come here, um, sort of really level with the top of the shoulder blades here. Now with my hands, this is kind of key. I'm going to hold on to the back of my head, but I'm not holding it forward. I'm not trying to turn this into a crunch and I'm certainly not trying to really engage those abs. Uh, because what will happen then is I will lock up the upper back and get in this rounded flex position where I'm not actually going to be able to achieve anything. So I'm going to be fighting against myself. So this is the one time where I really try and relax that core. I've still got everything in control, but I'm trying to relax the core at the same time. The hands are here to support the neck uh, so that it's not free flowing, but I'm allowing that head to come back when it needs to. So these are just assisting. They are certainly not pushing or providing any kind of any kind of assistance to the move, it's more of a support mechanism. So from here, I'm gonna start at this point here, so I'm nice and relaxed, feet around shoulder width apart. Now I'm just relaxing that core, it's not so relaxed that I will flop all over the place, I still wanna be able to maintain a little bit of support there on the lower part of the body. And from here, I'm gonna take a nice deep breath in, and I'm bringing those shoulders, notice how I'm elevating those elbows, that's taking my shoulder blades out of the way so that I can get to that upper spine. Otherwise those shoulder blades are gonna kind of protect that part of the upper spine. And we wanna stretch out the upper spine and get that extension going on. So from here, it's gonna bring those shoulders now, I can feel they're out of the way. Nice deep breath in. And on the way out, just allow the back of that head to naturally fall down towards the floor. Now I'm not trying to stop this, I'm certainly not trying to push this and I'm gaining that extra bit. You might get a couple of cracks out of the back there, don't be too alarmed. Obviously you won't, don't want any pain whatsoever. You get pain, you stop. Now I'm just gonna move a little bit up, just a little bit of an adjustment. And from here, now I'm a little bit further down the spine. Just gonna bring those shoulders forward again. Nice deep breath on the way out. Nice and relaxed. I cannot stress how un force this is. We're just allowing gravity to do the work. Keep breathing in this position. And then my tummy is nice and relaxed. My core is nice and relaxed. I'm bring myself back up, just supporting with my hands. So I don't want to put any extra tension on the neck. That would be counterproductive. So now I've come down to another point here. Nice deep breath in, bring those shoulders forward. out in this position for a moment. See how I'm allowing that head to naturally flop back. I'm not allowing it just to fall and be hanging there on, on the weight of the neck itself. I've got my hand supporting it, but I'm getting that little bit of extension that we need in the upper back. Now hang out there for a little while and that feels really good. So what you would do is work your way up and down the back, finding those regions where you like, and that is the pin and stretch technique for the upper back.